upon their ties and upon their shin bones. We call it forth in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now I want to say to you all, get up, get some oil in your hand. Go to your front door, go to your back door. Anoint your door, anoint your locks, anoint the, 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 the what you call it? The thing with hold of the door, the, the latch piece, the, the, from the door post to the thing, the piece with the door hold on to. But they screw the piece in the door and onto the, the hinge. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Anoint your hinges for your back and your front door. Anoint your windows, the four corners of your window, the four corners of the door. Anoint the locks on the door. Anoint the hinges on the door in the name of Jesus. Go to the four corners of your house and anoint the four corners of your house and declare the fire of God, the divine protection of God. Be in your homes in Jesus' name. Take the olive oil and put it on, and anoint your children's head. Anoint their hands, anoint their feet in the name of Jesus. They will not go where they're not supposed to go. They will not touch where they're not supposed to. They, are, they will not lose their minds. Their minds will stay stable. They will come from the bottom to the top. They will be the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Go and anoint your children. Anoint everyone in your house. Anoint yourself. Mighty God, let me grab my oil. In the name of Jesus, as God gave for this instruction, let me get my oil. Let me walk in obedience. I got to be a partaker. Hallelujah. As he gave for the instructions, I got to make sure. Mighty God, Master Abashaya. Anoint my head, anoint my hands in the name of Jesus, and anoint my feet. Holy Ghost, as I anoint myself, I anoint my son in the realm of the spirit. I anoint his head with oil. I anoint his hands with oil in the name of Jesus. God, I anoint his feet. I anoint his feet from the ankle down, the bottom and the top. His heel to his toe in the name of Jesus. I anoint his feet. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I anoint my grandson Edwin Jaden Downs. Hallelujah. His head in the name of Jesus. I anoint their eyes and their ears and the mouth in the name of Jesus. I anoint their hands from the elbow down in the name of Jesus. God, I anoint their feet from the ankle down in the name of Jesus unto the bottom from the heel to the toe. Mighty Yahweh, I walk in obedience to your instructions and your word. Now it's you do the rest. I did my part. You do your part. And I thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I anoint them. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise and I give you thanks in Jesus' name. You know why you said do it. I did it. They may not be here in person in my house, but God, I anoint them in the realm of the spirit. I anoint them in the realm of the spirit. I anoint them in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Wash every mark every mark that the enemy put on them in the realm of the spirit to be a target for the police to be a target target for gang violence to be a target hallelujah for rape and molestation as you anoint your children you anointing that you washing that off the blood of jesus washing that off of them hallelujah jesus you're washing the target off of them you're washing the target off their back you're washing the target off their chest you're washing the target, hallelujah, off of them in the name of Jesus. Masi Yokundarabashaya. God, I thank you for the spirit of obedience. They and they will not be targets to the enemy in the name of Jesus. As you anoint their head, the target that was placed upon them, God is taking it off of them in the realm of the spirit. Because things are going on in the realm of the spirit that we cannot see. And we wonder why is it that certain things are happening to certain children because they're being targeted from in the realm of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus because of the calling and the gift that is upon their life. Mighty God, the enemy has put a target, a bullseye on them, either on their forehead, to the back of their head, on their chest, or on their back. Mighty Yabakasi Yokundarabakaya. Hallelujah, Jesus, that the enemy, that demons would be attracted to them to bring calm to them. We cancel that in the name of Jesus through the spirit of obedience. 
mighty God and God cancel just now by anointing them in the night in the mighty name of God we thank you for your instructions we thank you for your power God I thank you for the spirit of obedience mighty Yahweh I give you praise this morning God and I thank you for moving in obedience even when I don't understand it because moving in obedience even when you don't understand it let me tell you something you be shunning the plans of the enemy and you don't even know when God said get up and walk to the door rest your hands on the door you think it's strange and thinking it's your mind God said move in obedience when I speak to you because when I speak and I give you these instructions it's for your divine protection the enemy has released a plan but when you get up and move in simple obedience to me when I said get up and rest your hands on the door you get up and go and rest your hands on the door hallelujah you're covering your home God said when I say when I tell you get up and go rest your hand on your car and pray mighty God you're canceling accidents hallelujah from around your vehicle and from around your family God say as he give you these instructions that may seem weird when he tell you take your son's shirt and pray over it it's a point of contact hallelujah you pray over it and you cover them take their shoes and anoint it God say when he give you all these simple instructions things would seem like it don't make no sense God say move in obedience it's for your divine protection. It's for your children. And sometimes it's to bring blessings into your life and the life of your family member. So God said, move in obedience. And as you move in obedience, you will begin to testify of the things. Yes, I'm going to set up that part of the, the, the page so that you can be able to put your testimony there. You will begin to see manifestation of things will begin to hit your life to these simple acts of obedience i want you to know that today it is simple but it's huge it's simple to us naturally but it's huge in the realm of the spirit i want you to know that today it may seem simple to us naturally but it is